All right, in this video, a follow-up to making your analog clock in KOWP. Um, what I want to do now is show you how you can make a clock face. Um, I'm going to show you a basic clock face, and I'm going to show you some tweaks that you can do uh, with this clock face as well. So let's go ahead and go into KOWP. And assuming that you've watched uh, my video, I did talk about putting everything for your clock inside of an overlap group. So I'm going to go into my overlap group called clock. I have all my things, and let me scroll over to my clock. I have all my things inside of it that made this, but now I want to add my second and minute tick marks. So to do that, I'm going to add a progress bar. There's our progress bar, and this is going to represent our seconds and minutes. So second and minute progress. And, this, and what we're going to do with this is underneath progress, let's change it to custom, and let's go ahead and bump the level all the way up to 100. Now notice the level is changing. I just want the whole thing to be white or whatever color that you pick. Uh, we want to split this or we can do repeat shapes. Now split progress will let you split it. As you can see it is split into 10 sections but I'm going to do repeat shapes because I can adjust the height and the width or length and width of the shape that I choose. Since we're talking about seconds and minutes let's break this up into 60 sections. Of course you don't have to do that but I'm going to do that because we do have 60 seconds and 60 minutes um, on a typical analog clock face. Now you can't really see that too well. We want to adjust the style. I want to make this circular. That way you can actually fit this to your circle. So right, that right there looks pretty good. And the shape that I'm repeating. Since I'm repeating shapes, you can pick the shape that you want to re, uh, repeat. In this case, I'm going to pick a circle. And I want to make my circle a little bit thinner. Or not, I, I picked a uh, rectangle. I want to pick rectangle for my tick marks. I want to make my rectangle is a little bit thinner. Uh, 10 looks good. And i tell you what, that you can make them longer or shorter, but I'm going to leave it, them around 10 as well. well. Let's bump it up to 20. Don't look too bad. Now, if we zoom in on that, maybe you want to tweak this a little bit more to your liking. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like those to come up and touch the uh, edge of my circle. So it, all you have to do, do there is adjust the circular style and that right there let's let's keep it around 590 okay maybe I don't want it to touch perfectly but that right there looks pretty good notice the second hand is hitting each little marker uh, nicely so that's your second marker it's already starting to look more like a clock now let's add one more progress I'm just gonna copy this one and paste that right back inside of it but this one is going to represent our hours so we'll just call this our progress. And I want this to look kind of the same, except since we're talking about hours, we don't want 60 markers. We want 12 markers for 12 hours. And as you can see, we're starting to, and as I adjust that, notice it's breaking it up nice and evenly. But 12, notice 12, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Um, I still have repeat, repeat shapes. And I still have a rectangle. Let's adjust this width. Um, maybe the width is fine. Now you'll notice this width of 10 is a little bit wider than this 10 we had here, and that's because we have fewer markers. Um, but maybe you want this to be a little bit uh, longer. Now notice as I'm doing that, it looks like it's actually changing the size, and, and, and it's, it's changing the size of the markers. I don't want it that long, but maybe right about there. Um, that looks kind of nice. Let's make that, yeah. That looks plenty good. And what we can do is we can you can make that circle bigger or smaller, but something right about in there will work for me. Let's see. Tell you what, I'm going to tweak that a little bit to make the second marker that we have behind it um, hiding. So uh, about 575. I think it's about the same as what I had a while ago anyway. But there you have it. That's a, you know, just like that, we all we did was some progress bars with a circle style. We repeated some shapes, and of course you can customize this however you want. But that right there already gives that watch face a facelift. Um, and as you can see right there, you know, that looks quite nice. You can come in here and put numbers in if you'd like. But um, that is a basic setup to a clock face without having to import any images from Google or wherever you get an image from. Now let me show you a few other things that you can do to uh, tweak this 
clock face a little bit inside of KLWP. All right, so let's go back to our clock overlap group. And I tell you what I want to do. Let's just take away, I'm going to take away this second hand that's moving around. And you can do this with minutes and hours as well, but I'm just going to show you um, how you can do this with seconds. So our second hand is gone, but maybe we still want to see the seconds. Now, I know I have a second and minute progress that I have inside of here, but I tell you what, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add uh, one more progress. You could take one of these away or tweak it inside of there, but let me add one more progress. And inside of this one, I'm going to call this one the second ticker, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to show the seconds ticking without the second hand. So inside a second ticker, let's, um, now what we can do with this one, I'm going to change the progress now to seconds, and as you can see, this bar is growing. So there's a few things we can do inside of here. Um, flat progress, if you want. Um, let's go ahead and change the style to circular, and I'm going to zoom out. So this is one thing you can do, but, I mean, you see the seconds going, we're about to hit another minute. But uh, maybe you want to split this up, so we can do split progress. And as you can see, it's automatically going to break it up into 60 sections, I think. Maybe that is 60 sections. Um, but notice the background color resets on us. So we have something like that. Now that looks kind of, with the, with the minute and second markers that I've already created inside of here, that's kind of overcrowded in my opinion. But what we can do, I'm going to go to repeat shape. And now we have a repeated circle, which doesn't look too bad. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Let me make this a little bit bigger, but now as I start to overlap the other one, again, that's getting kind of busy to me. But watch this. So we're kind of on the markers, but you can see the seconds going by. If we go to color, I'm going to change this color to a blue, just so we can see, actually a red, something bright. All right, you can clearly see the red, but now the red is, we're about to um, come to another minute. Um, we can change the background color, you can make it transparent, but here's what I want to talk about. Underneath mode, if we go to current, what it does is it only puts the second on the current second that it's on. This would be a good time to change our background color to a completely transparent color. And now, as you can see, you have like a little second marker going around. To go back, if we want to make that a little bit bigger, for repeat shape, I had a circle which looks just fine on this one. Um, if we make the width of our circle a little bit bigger, you know, there you go. See, that, that right there, I mean, you know, you can tweak that to your liking as well. But uh, zooming out, let's save that. So I completely got rid of the second hand altogether, and now you just see this little ticker going around. And again, what I did there is I had to change the, the style of our color to just current. So it's only showing the current second as our progress bar. Um, I made the background color transparent, so therefore, you know, that's not bad. That looks pretty cool. I actually might leave it that way. I might change the color or something like that, but nonetheless, um, that is another way you can customize your clock face. You, know, you could come back in here and put numbers into these spots. Heck, you could even um, change these hands, but that's I'll leave that for another video. But I at least wanted to show you how to make a clock face in KLWP after you've made your analog clock. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.